and welcome to Motorboats Monthly's Practical Boating Series. Today we're going to be looking at some basic radar functions to help you get the best out of this essential piece of navigational equipment. We're on board Bluefin, Motorboats Monthly's Prestige 38 and we're in Southampton Water and today we're going to be using Garmin GPS Map 6008. All of the functions we're going to be talking about today can be found on all modern radars but the way you access them might be a little bit different. The first important setting we're going to be looking at is the game control. All sets have it, and most sets it will be on automatic when you first turn the machine on. You should understand, however, how to increase and decrease the game manually, because there are times when you will need to do that to give yourself a more accurate presentation of what's out there. Okay, so we're on automatic, and if you increase the game on this set, you'll see that you start to get more returns coming in, things that actually might not necessarily be there, and they're obliterating genuine targets, so you can't actually see the things you want to see. And equally, if you come down from automatic, you can start to lose genuine targets to the point where, right at the bottom, even though we're in Southampton water, full of ships and dockyards, there's pretty much nothing left on the screen. So you need to just bring it up, Keep going up a couple of degrees at a time until you start to feel that the picture represents what you should be seeing. As I say, automatic works most of the time, but sometimes you just might need to add or take a couple of degrees off just to give yourself a slightly clearer picture. That's it. The next setting we're going to be looking at are the cutter controls, more specifically the sea and the rain cutter. Sea clutter is the returns that you get from waves that are in the boat's immediate vicinity and will often obliterate the area around your boat on the radar screen. This Garmin radar comes with three settings for the calm, medium and rough, but it also allows you to go up and down by 5% at a time. And you just keep going up and down through the range until you lose all of the returns that you're going to have around your boat obliterating any possible targets that are close by. Rain clutter is the returns that you get from, as the name implies, from rain. Individual drops of rain will not really provide a return, but when you've got lots of them together in a heavy downpour, you can get a very uh, significant return on your radar screen, and that return can actually hide genuine targets underneath. The rain clutter is usually set to zero when there's no rain around, and if you do find yourself with a large target on the screen that you suspect is rain, gradually increase it until it disappears and that way if there is any genuine targets underneath that rain cloud you'll be able to see them. We hope that's been useful to you. Thanks for watching.